Alrighty everybody, what's up? Thank you very much for tuning in. Here we go with another Warfront video with patch 8.1 being released. We now have more Warfront action and more Warfront content. So for those of you that haven't seen already, I have released, I did release three. I just deleted one because the video really is out. It's not outdated. It just doesn't make sense anymore with what they've changed and I kind of going to be doing it in this video. Um, so, the three videos I had released, two of them are still alive. Those two are Warfronts, How to Unlock Battle for Stormguard, World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. That's the title. I'm giving you guys the title, so if you want to search it in YouTube or just go to my World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth playlist, go ahead and do so. But the first one was the Warfronts, How to Unlock Battle for Stormguard. It's the little quest lines, a little bit of a nine minute like little quest sign of me giving you guys an introductory on what Warfronts are. Uh, we got 504 views on that, so thank you very much for viewing. And then um, the other video that is still alive on my channel is Warfronts, the complete guide for the Battle for Stormguard, World of Warcraft, the Battle for Azeroth. So we actually do the Battle for Stormguard scenario. Now, I will be doing the new patch 8.1 scenario in Darkshore. Um, so stay tuned for that. It is just not active at the moment. So I'm going to be doing the Darkshore questing video and giving you guys an idea on how that works because that is the third video that I used to have and it was for Battle for Stormguard which was the questing side of things and that was uh it's been changed on how it works. All right, so, so now that we have the Warfront table currently open it shows us uh Battle for Stormguard as well as Battle for Darkshore. Now I'm going to quickly go over this however in the video what I was talking about earlier, how to unlock Stormguard, I kind of go over how the, the daily situation works and how to contribute. So for example, um, for Battle for Stormguard, uh, the Horde is contributing to the war effort in Arathi Highlands, so we gotta do our part. Now while we are in contribution mode, the enemy faction is in patrol mode. So what that means is patrol mode is what I'm currently going to be showing you guys in Battle for Darkshore today in this video and that's the main purpose of this video so that's why I'm going to kind of rush through this as quickly as possible just to give you guys an idea on what's going on. So Battle for Stormguard, for a horde at the moment, we're in contribute mode. Like I said earlier in the how to unlock video I talk about the dailies and the different dailies that you can do. We basically got to... Uh, donate resources, our own resources like gold, war resources, uh, profession, regents, and all that stuff to these dailies that are in this little area as you can see on my mini map. And um, once we do those dailies, we basically go towards this percentage. And when this percentage hits 100%, we will then have access to take down the battle for Stormguard. So it's basically once you're in, like let's say we're in contribution mode, alliance is in patrol mode, once we've hit 100%, Alliance gets kicked out, and then we get to take on the battle for a week. Once we've taken on the battle for the week, the whole thing starts all over, and then we get patrol mode, and the Alliance get contribution mode, and then the Alliance get access to it, we get kicked out. So it's basically a, a tug of war type of thing there. So, for Battle for Dark Show, which is what we're going on in this video right now, the Horde holds Bashal Aran and controls Darkshore, so several scouts, reports, and alliance contributing to their own war efforts of the Darkshore, so that's pretty much what's going on here. And that's what this whole video is about. I'm going to be showing you guys how the questing works for Warfronts now. I will be doing another video for Stormguard, um, utilizing most of this footage, but then just showing you guys the different types of things that you can see uh, for Stormguard. Um, so I'll be doing another video, but a lot of the same footage is going to be used, uh, so stay tuned for that if you guys want to watch it. So while we're in patrol mode, like I kind of said earlier, we have access to quests in Darkshore at this moment in time. So we can go ahead and do all the cool quest stuff because we control it. And we got time left of five days and eight hours. While we are in patrol mode, the Alliance are in contribution mode. So the Alliance are in contribution mode until they hit 100%, which I believe they've already done. And once they hit 100%, they have access to then queue up for the Battle for Darkshore Go ahead and have fun, do the scenario, do all the cool things that we don't get to do yet, which the Alliance get to do first, and then after their week of having fun, then we get to contribute to the Battle for Dark Shore, and then we get to go ahead and do the Battle for Dark Shore. But I'm not going to go on all day about that. I hope you guys understand it. We're now going to go ahead and 
head on over. All right, everybody. So we've now adventured over into a uh, Rothy Highlands. Now I deleted the old video guide, as stated before in multiple videos for Warfronts, uh, for the patrol phase of a Rothy Highlands or Stormguard, if you will. Uh, the reason being is, if, for those of you that remember when Battle for Azeroth was launched, at the port, or where you pick up your quests or your Warfront area for both Horde and Alliance, you used to be able to pick up your quests, there was about 6 to 7 of them, that offered war resources, a chance at loot, and whatnot, um, to come over to Arathi Highlands and kill tons of mobs in different locations. Now. Those were removed. The same happens in Darkshore. Uh, they've removed picking up weekly quests. Now, in Darkshore, however, you still have a chance to do the world quest. However, there's three weekly quests that you can pick up at Darkshore. So that's what I thought they were going to do with Harathi Highlands. But now that Horde has access to Harathi Highlands, I can finally confirm that it's not the case. All of those previous quests were now turned into world quests. So, just to show you how that works is... They're on a rotation basis, and uh, how it works simply is you no longer have to pick up quests to come and do <clears throat> your patrol phase in Arathi Highlands. Um, if you guys, again, really quickly, I've already released a patrol phase for Darkshore. The, again, this is very similar to this, however, besides just doing world quests, you also have three quests that you can take a part of during the Darkshore patrol phase. However, let's get back into this. So, instead of picking up quests at Arathi Highlands, for example, Boulder Fist Beatdown, as well as wiping out the Witherbark, were two of those quests that you could pick up from before. Now, again, these have been turned into world quests, and they have a 7 hour current time limit. So, once the 7 hours is up, I'm assuming, they will then turn into uh, some of the other uh, weekly quests that we were able to pick up before in the form of a world quest. So, it is as simple as just go to Arathi Highland when you're in patrol phase. Uh, you have access to all the world quests, which are now the weekly quests for you to complete. They're not really weekly because they're based off of timers. You basically have a whole full week to be doing world quests out here. Um, but you get these honor bound uh, service medals or for the Alliance to get your service medals. Um, by completing these world quests, you also have access to your um, your world boss as well through a world quest. How that that was always like that though, and of course rare spawns, toys, collectibles, and all that type of fun stuff that you can do here. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, two of these world quests because I have enough time to do two of these world quests, and uh, let's get some questing patrol action in, fam. <laughs> 